Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening, good evening. Welcome. How are you? Very really good, teacher. How was your day? Um, kind of busy, but I think it's okay. It's okay, all right. Welcome. It's time. It's time to start the class. <laughs> Are we ready? Did Almost we charge ready. batteries? Uh, um, one hour ago, I was running eight kilometers. No way. Yes. That's nice. Eight kilometers. That's a long run. Not much, but that's good to change the, the chip. Right, it is pretty good. But eight kilometers, sounds to me like a lot. <laughs> I like to run. That's great, but you do it in a, in, a, in a park or you do it on the road? In the road. Really? So you go four kilometers from your house and then you come back for four kilometers. Uh, sometimes it's that it's like you said, but mm -hmm. right now it was in in two in two quarters. Two blocks. Two blocks. Mm -hmm. Around two blocks. All right. So you were going around the same two blocks. All right, that's nice. That's great. Cool. It's very good exercise, actually. Yes. And you'd rather do it in the evening or in the morning? Uh, I like to to do it in the morning, but I don't like to wake up early. <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is the most difficult one. Right. Exactly. Oh wow, that's really impressive. <laughs> All right, we have the survey this last class. So please remind me. We have the survey, the inquesta, satisfaction at eight thirty. Okay, so that we don't miss it. All right, welcome everybody. I hope you have had a wonderful day. I hope everything was okay. I hope you had no inconveniences after, well, after a busy day. It's great to have different activities 
to unwind yourself. That's really good. I see very few participants, so I'm not quite sure whether I should take or not the attendance right now. Because there are very few participants. I see only six participants so far. So it would be great, you know, that everybody answered when I say the name, so that everybody would say present. But right now it's just seven people. So maybe we're gonna wait a little longer so that everybody is in class already. Well, let's start. Let's go ahead and start. Well, this is the last class. This is the session 25 for the intermediate module five. And today is Wednesday, October 12th. Well, that's a very important date actually. Okay, so up 2022. And as I introduced myself yesterday, I'll be in charge of covering these two classes, those have to do these two last classes from this course. And yes, as I mentioned at, at the beginning, we're gonna have the survey as well at 8.30. You have been sent the link, right? You have been sent an email notifying that you're gonna be taking this survey tonight. All right. Okay, so let's see let's go ahead okay these are formalities and at the end of this session what are we gonna do what do we have to be able to do at the end of the session we're gonna be able to summarize three major challenges that retail stores will face as e-commerce grows and formulate three tips about future challenges associated to e-commerce for retail stores so this sounds a little bit uh, a lot of work <laughs> okay so we're gonna be working on that okay I bet yesterday we talked a little bit about the e commerce and what it means and what is happening right now that many people are doing e-commerce so you're not necessarily going to the store and buying the things after you have made probably a uh, long trip and after you've been you know all the way to the store walking looking for a parking space checking for the objects you know walking around getting the, the products and comparing probably the prices the quality the sizes and then making a line to pay and then coming back home so now really it's, it's a lot different right definitely we are still have this retails right so the retail stores such as this big supermarkets that they don't or even convenience stores or other department stores it's not that they produce right so they just resell the products and they have lots of different products not only one kind of products right so that's something that we're going to be discussing today all right before anything else happens, yes, I see some more people getting connected. And I'm going to be asking you some questions, OK? Uh, I'm going to be, OK, I'm going to create some groups. You're going to go to the breakout rooms, and I'm going to be sending you the question through the chat, OK? So you have to be reading the chat, because I'm going to be sending you questions that you have to discuss with your partners. Is that clear? Yes, it is. All right. So let's see. We're going to create very few groups because you are, yeah, it's probably, yes, these three groups. And let's go.
English. Okay, okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Sorry. It's all right. Uh, Welcome. Do you send, do you send the, the questions? Oh, yes. Let's see. In the chat of the... Not here. In the chat of, of Zoom. Okay. Check it out, please. Okay. Did you get it? Uh, not, not, not yet, teacher. Really? I can see anything. Oh my God, that's weird. Okay, let me do it again. Don't worry. Sorry, que estaba resolviendo ahí una cosa de, de mi perrito. Hola, Wendy. Hello, hola. Va a mandar unas cosas ahí. Al, al... Uh, uh, sí. ¿Cómo? Yo no sé si. No, un Zoom dijo. Right now, right now, the teacher send the the question. Hello. Hola, teacher. Le estaba diciendo a Tatiana que en este momento no eh, me tienen haciendo un reporte y, y lo quieren enviar hoy. All right, no problem. I can change her. Don't worry. Okay, thanks. Teacher, right. yo yes. I have a question. Tell me. Eh, I couldn't hear what is the activity. I'm sorry. Can, could you repeat? Please? Yes, you're going to discuss the questions that I will send you in the chat. No worries. Ah, ok, thank you. All right. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hey. Did you get the question? Uh, I just uh, only uh, could um, read. How often do you do you go to buy uh, food? Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Italy. Yes, that's what you have to discuss. How often you go shopping for food, for electronics, for clothes, for shoes, or any other products. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. okay. That's how you do it. Thank you, teacher. All right. All right, my dear girls. Hi, Mario. Hola, hola. Hi. La encuesta, doctor. I don't know. Uh, no, I I think that we are doing something. I don't know why. <laughs> what? I sent a question that you have to discuss with your partner here. At uh, the chat or at the WhatsApp group, teacher? Here, let's see. I'm going to send it again. Here in the group. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh -huh. oh, okay. How often do you go shopping for food, clothes, electronics? That's Sorry. right. Okay. Um, going to physical stores or buying online, teacher? Either, either way, how you do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
I'm uh, one time for a week. Like, is this we are talking in this module about e commerce? I believe this question is about e commerce online, just online. Online, okay. Bueno. Whatever thing. The game comienza in in my case. Mm. It's more common for one, one in the month, in the month, one time in the month. Uh, it's more. Okay. That's it. In my case. Is... I think the most of the people are maybe two three times for a month. I'm not sure if there are people who want to shop every week online. I don't believe that. No, actually, I I don't use I don't use to buy online because I prefer when I go to the, the market or the supermarket, I prefer go to the place or go to the store because I think I can see everything and it's better yeah. in that kind of shopping. When I want to buy, for example, clothes or something like that, maybe I can, I, I will prefer the the, the Yes. It's not always yeah. to... one time in uh, years. <laughs> uh, four, five months, uh, just uh, or two, just for Christmas. Two times, two times in the year, yeah. <laughs> Choose, yes. Begin in year school and this. <laughs> And what about you, Claudita? I buy clothes regular, regularly. Um, oh, maybe. yeah. Yes, but one t-shirt, one jeans, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Only you need it. <laughs> yes. And shoes. I imagine. Ah, okay. <laughs> I imagine Claudia have a collection to clothes. <laughs> yes. My husband says why I have many shoes. <laughs> many shoes. Yes. My, my, daughter too. my daughter too. Oh no. This uh, girl is a, a, is a maniac to, to buy <laughs> uh, frequently shoes. Uh, what do you say? Bags? Bags? From girl, yes, um, um, in clothes, uh, a dress, uh, dress is a maniac for for her. My sister has that problem, <laughs> the same problem. <laughs> oh, one time <laughs> we count forty-three pairs. Oh my god. <laughs> 43? Wow. This is new for me. Yes. Really, really easy. Yes. Because, uh, when she I, has a problem. <laughs> yes. I I I bought uh, my last uh, pair of shoes. Uh, I don't know. Uh, nine, nine months ago. My last pair of shoes. I have many shoes. I have yeah. uh, no. I don't like to 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 have uh, mm. so much uh, shoes. I have yeah. 12, 12, 14, 14, uh, 14 pairs shoes. I yeah. buy my last pair of shoes last month, and I didn't use it yet. 
Me too. Me, me, yes. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, what? Uh -huh. yeah. Sorry, what? Uh, you work for Ah, uh, no, I work for Web Help. Uh, it used to be One Link. Uh huh. Yes, they changed it this year. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, teacher, we talking about with Diana about how how frequently. Uh, okay, buy online. <laughs> buy online. All right, that's great. Yeah, no problem. It's like a, a thing. Right on. Uh -huh. We buy online, order food one time per week. Uh -huh. um, okay. All right, that's great. That's awesome. You had a conversation, you see? <laughs> That's nice. Hi, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> okay, it was difficult to start the conversation, but then it was more difficult to finish the conversation, right? <laughs> okay, that was great. So you get motivated and engaged into the conversation. All right, first things first, the attendance, we haven't taken it. So it is time, Ana Raquel. Not here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Carlos Antonio. Not here. Oh my God. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Hey, how are you? Liana. Here teacher. Hey. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Jonathan. Present Miss. Hi. Jose Rodrigo. Present teacher. Hi. All right. And Juan Carlos Rivas. Present teacher. Hello. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Hello. Linda Ivette. Not here. Manuel Antonio. Antonio, not here. Present teacher, yeah, teacher. Hey, hey. <laughs> I was so scared you were not here. <laughs> Maria Concepcion. Present. Hello. Maria Elena. Present. Hello. Mario Ernesto. Present. Hello. Nelson Cabarret. Present. Hello. Norma Carolina. Hi. Norma, Norma. Olga. Present teacher. Hello. Silvia. Tatiana. Michelle Sanchez. Present teacher. Hello. 
I'm Wendy. here present. Hi. <laughs> Wendy? Hello. And Christian. Oh, Christian's not here. What happened to her today? Oh my God. Incredible. Oh, well. Thank you. How was the conversation? How did it go? Interesting. Interesting. Yes, I saw you really engaged into the conversation. Let's see. Somebody who can report. Let's start with the first group. In the first group, yeah, I used to have Diana, Jose, Jonathan, Jose Rodrigo, Juan Carlos, and Mario. Who is the one that spoke the most? The most participative person in this group. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yes. Mario and I. <laughs> okay, so what did you talk about? All, all we are very participative. <laughs> I see you were very participative. All right, that's great. But tell me, Diana. Yes. What were you talking? What were you discussing about? Uh, well, at my group, I spoke with Mario because I think the other one is like a listener today. Mm -hmm. um, Mario said that he buy food mostly on online. Mm -hmm. uh, he told me that he ate. Wendy's today. <laughs> he orders Wendy online. <laughs> he orders Wendy. All right. And about electronics, um, the last electronic he bought, he bought was in January. All right. This this year. Yes. This mm -hmm. year. Nice. From the second group, Anna, Jorge, Nelson, Olga, Tatiana, Wendy. Let's see somebody. Hello, teacher. Hey. It's me, Jorge. Tell me. Uh, the, the classmate, the classmate and, and I mm -hmm. were talking about the, the ways to buy something online or, or in e-commerce. Mm -hmm. but, but they say they prefer not using e-commerce. Mm -hmm. They prefer to, in the case of clothes, for example, mm -hmm. they prefer to wear the clothes, to fit the clothes. To try it on the clothes. Uh -huh. and, be, and be sure that they want to buy that you that they like. Mm -hmm. in I consider I consider that's a, a good way to buy if you want to to buy something that in your country, for example, doesn't exist, mm -hmm. or there are models that you can get it near your house. Right, exactly. That's pretty good. Well, yes, I, I wish I could give you more time for more participation, but just because now, yes, <laughs> is the survey time, okay? Ahorita vamos a la encuesta, right now, just right now, yes, they say at 8.30, okay? So, ya tienen el link, ¿verdad? You got the link already? Yes, enviaron el correo? Se lo puedo yes. Okay, perfect. Yes, so, ingresen al link, please, get to the link. Okay. Tengo yes. que entrar al correo y a mí. Y al teléfono. Really? <laughs> <laughs> la esperamos, don't worry. No. Pero no puedo copiar. Okay. ¿Quieren que se los ponga el link? Yo hoy creo que ya lo mandaron, teacher. Sí, ya lo habían enviado, pero por si hoy lo, hoy, 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 lo, hoy lo enviaron al grupo aquí, al, al, al grupo yes. de, de WhatsApp. Ahí está, ahorita That's lo estoy abriendo. Right. Uh -huh. Es this one. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Bye. Perfect. Okay. Lo vamos a ir haciendo todo al mismo tiempo. Yo sé que ustedes están súper acostumbrados a esto, pero it's okay. Yes. ¿Cuál es el eh, number one? Ingresa el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y plecas. Será proporcionado por el proveedor que puede copiarlo. Bye. Estos datos se los voy a copiar 
en el chat de Zoom, ¿está bien? Para que lo tengan más a la mano, pero igual ustedes lo tienen, igual lo pueden copiar y pegar del correo. Ok, pueden sí. Vamos a ver. All this information. Teacher, y si lo manda al grupo de WhatsApp. Al de WhatsApp. Vaya, no se Por me favor, copia. teacher. Ahí se lo copiamos. That is in, in the WhatsApp group. They send it today. It's true, it's true. Ya lo habían enviado. Yes. yes. Pero, 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 pero un ejemplo. No, she sent the, the information. Yes, the real information. It's true. Um, uh, si quieren, pues, This is the real número que mandó. Ahorita se lo acabo de copiar en el, en el chat de Zoom. Ok. Eso, eso le voy a decir que aunque lo mande en WhatsApp, pero no se puede copiar de ahí. Porque uh -huh. te, le copia todo el mensaje. En cambio, así como usted lo está haciendo, es mejor. Uh -huh. No quiero ver. Porque estoy del cel. No me deja. ¿Sí lo pueden ver en el chat de, de eso? Ah, ok. Ah. Eh, no, solo veo oh. buenas noches, teacher. Estaré como okay. oyente. Don't worry. <ríe> <Ahí> <ríe> exactly. Ahí sí, tú. Ok. Uh -huh. Y creo que se lo envía a Catherine. Sorry. <ríe> Okay. Wait a second. Okay, one second, please. ¿Qué es lo que les digo? Si lo mandan así, no podemos no se puede copiar. No se puede. No, no se puede. Es que tiene que ser pedacito por pedacito. Así como así, ve, ya les digo. Solo lo verifican. ¿sí? Ah, bueno, pero sí, yo, yo lo siento. ¿Cómo? Yo sí creo que lo puedo hacer. Sí se puede, si lo tienen en la compu, sí se puede. Pueden, pueden arrastrar no, 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 y, y lo pueden hacer. Es que es así. Bueno, yo... Solo si se pega algo así, ya les digo. Así sí se puede. Pero si copian todo el mensaje, no se puede. Todo por pedacitos. Ok, cada una de las partes entonces. Uh -huh. Don't worry. Ya lo copié. Ok, sorry. <ríe> <ríe> bueno. Pues... We got frozen. Right. Ok, great. Veamos, pues. Vaya, el first number era 
Vemos que numbers escribimos. Sure. We can yes. send it when we finish. Yes, and then you have to get the screenshot and write your name and put it on the chat, I mean, on the WhatsApp chat. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the group. Yes, the first number was, yes, 28637-78100, three times. Seven, it's landed bar, and then 2022. Yes? Thank you. Ese fue el, el primer número que tenían que ingresar, obviously, su nombre completo, correo electrónico, número celular, sexo, departamento de residencia. So you have here to choose a qué departamento pertenece donde usted reside. O Japan, Santa Ana, Sonsonata, puede ser obviamente otra ciudad, pero que pertenece a alguno de estos departamentos. Y el municipio de residencia, right? Empresa donde trabaja tal cual. Lo habían ingresado. Yes. Luego, nombre del proveedor que le capacitó. Acá tenemos inglés corporativo. Regal International SASB. Es el que tienen que elegir. Y luego los siguientes valores del curso. La fecha de inicio. ¿Y el nombre del curso cuál es? El nombre del curso, Inglés Intermedio Módulo 5. Yes, nombre del curso, I'm sorry. Inglés Intermedio Módulo 5. Uh -huh. Fecha de inicio. El 5 de septiembre de 2022. Y la fecha de finalización sería el 12, 12 de octubre 2022. Y luego le da Submit. Cuando le da Submit, ahí hace un screenshot. Ok, y le pone su nombre, exacto. Yo soy like Diana. ¿En qué fecha inició, dice? 5 de ¿Sí? septiembre de 2022. Y al tomar el screenshot, ese screenshot le pone su nombre, su nombre completo, yes, like Diana Elizabeth. Fecha de finalización 12, dice. 12 de octubre, 2022. 5 de noviembre. Al revés, agarra la fecha, no hay problema. No, no hay problema. Ok. Daya. No. Ah, ah en, de, en el calendario sale como, a ver. Uh -huh. Como fuera en inglés. <risa> Okay. Vale, Vaya, tenemos el screenshot de Diana, Elizabeth, Serifino. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly. Claudia María, María Elena, Mario Ernesto. Ah, Cristian, si ¿sí le puedo poner su nombre completo, please. Ok, voy. Ok, thank you. Olga Marlene. Ok, thank you. Una falta. Yes, no olviden poner su nombre completo al screenshot. A la vez terminada. Thank you. Ok. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm. Nice. We have Ana Raquel, Vialta, Nelson Gabarrete Merino, Manuel Antonio Palma. Okay, Christian, Natal Gerazo. Alta. ¿Quién aún está trabajando en esto? Ya todos terminamos. Yo me falta mandarlo. Ok, no problem. Sí. 
Let's go. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Igual me falta todavía. Seven. Okay. Igual lo esperamos, no problem. So just don't don't forget to write your full name to the screenshot. All right. Thank you. That is the description. Wendy, mm. yes. Right, let's say Jonathan. Thirteen, fourteen, for Humberto, Norman, fifteen, okay. Who else? Who else? Who else? Okay. Thank you, Carlos. For Carlos Rivas, yes. Thank you so much. Okay, perfect. Sí. Yo falta teacher, ya se lo envío, lo que pasa es que tenía problemas para tomar la captura. Pero no, ya se lo envío. No worries, no worries. All right. Okay, okay. All right, I think, yeah, we're almost done. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you so very much for your cooperation. That was pretty kind of you. All right. Okay, perfect. If you're still working on it, no worries. You just keep going. Okay, as we go with the class, okay? Well, let's go back to business, okay? As we were mentioning, yes, yeah. You were talking about shopping and how often you go shopping, the way you do your shopping, and what articles, objects, products, goods you get, and if you get it on retail stores, or if you go and do e-commerce, right? You buy or you shop online, okay? So this is definitely something that we're gonna be discussing through this class. And the first thing is, yes, to discuss a little bit about, okay, the trends in e-commerce, right? So you'll be able to summarize three major challenges that retail stores will face as e-commerce grows and formulate three tips about future challenges associated to e-commerce for retail stores. And of course, what are retail stores? Let's see, somebody has a definition, somebody has an idea, somebody has the meaning. 
Do you know anything about retail stores? Yes. What are retail stores? Tell me. Retail store, uh, retail store for example, is one uh, store. Uh, may maybe it's possible be a a, a big or small uh, store. Uh, for example, when uh, selling shoes, mm -hmm. clothes, mm -hmm. uh, groceries, mm -hmm. uh, any product. Right. But, so but retail. Retail, exactly, retail. that they don't produce yeah. those yeah, products, don't. right? So they only, only sell. sell, right? So they mm -hmm. get these products from yes. other suppliers from other yes. companies, right? And they resell practically, right? So yes. they are retail stores, right? So how do you think these retail stores will be affected if e-commerce grows, improves, increases? And now the producers or the company that produce the product don't have to put their products in a retail store, they can sell their products directly to the customers. Interesting question. Exactly. How these retail stores are going to be affected, how the business that they have can go down. Uh, uh -huh. I think this is uh, I don't know uh, impossible. Uh, I think because there are many processes to to follow and export, import product services. Uh, I don't know. Uh, always uh, the producer need. The uh, retail stores. And <laughs> retail store and in intermediate for uh -huh. the processes. Exactly. So you you think that there's nothing to worry about? Yes. Okay. So there will be always the need to have yes. somebody that retails their products. All right. That's a very optimistic way of thinking, actually, <laughs> and a realistic one at the same time, because you're saying, mm, that's not going to happen. It's impossible. That More, exactly. Teacher, uh, cheaper, but uh, the, for example, the producers of uh, sugar, mm -hmm. they they don't to send me one, one kilo. One pound of sugar. <laughs> one, one, one pound, yes. Uh, directly in my house. <laughs> it's a very smart way of thinking, actually. That's hmm. yes, that's analyzing the situation very well because you say eh, that's not gonna happen. They're not gonna send me just a pound of sugar because I just need yeah. five five pounds of sugar, right? Yeah, <laughs> and they are not going to be making e-commerce for yes. very little amounts or quantity of their product yes. when they can sell a big amount of product to a place and this place can distribute it right with the final consumers okay that's very interesting actually hmm. i think that was something missing in this in this lesson <laughs> okay let's start are online stores popular in your country do you think e-commerce will substitute retail stores Somebody just gave you the answer right away. <laughs> so you say, mm, I don't think e-commerce will substitute retail stores in the future. That's impossible, Manuel says, because the producers cannot distribute by very small quantities, okay? But of course, we have an article that gives some ideas of what might happen, right? It says, read the article about the influence of e-commerce in the brick and mortar stores. Then answer the questions below. Of course, the first thing when we have an article is to read and understand what the article tries to say, right? And of course, that's what we're going to do right away. So, let me just, okay. This is something you have on your, on your manual. ¿Ya lo encontraron? 
Yes. Let me know if you find it, please. Okay. So, I'm going to start reading, but later you will do the same thing. The more you read, the easier it will be for you to understand. And it starts out like this. Despite all the rumors about e-commerce putting brick and mortars out of the business, is the online only merchants that are struggling. Number one, all but one of the top 10 USA retailers are physical chains. Except for Amazon, the top 10 USA retailers are all school brick and mortar retail stores. According to the top 100 retails list from the stores magazine, a national retail federation publication in ranking order, they are Walmart stores, Kroger's Call, Costco, The Home Depot, CVS, Walgreens, Amazon.com, Target, Lowe's, and Albertsons. Number two, stores are more profitable than e-commerce. Bricks generate higher conversion rates than, than clicks. A store purchase is more profitable than an e-commerce order. As factors like shipping and handling charges and the cost associates with increased returns eat into margin. Number three, online retails are being eaten by legacy retailers. Now Walmart is leading a pure play acquisition bench buying more in the web retailers. Brick merchants are buying click merchants because online only is not available retail model. It's not a viable, sorry, retail model. Millennials in, the, in Generation Z prefer real life stores. Millennials in Generation Z came of age amid the rise of Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. But while many of these younger consumers are opting to spend their free time online rather than watching television for one, both groups actually prefer in a store to digital shopping. All right, this was adapted from the Forbes.com. So this is an article that is telling you, yeah, that even if you consider the yeah, obviously, e-commerce, shopping online, and all those things have a big acceptance and have some great advantages. It's not going to happen that they are going to substitute the brick stores, the old school brick and mortar retail stores, right? So, it's, I mean, this article is saying that it, that is not going to happen either, right? So, I know it has a lot of probably difficult vocabulary to pronounce and challenging vocabulary probably to know the meaning. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you the opportunity to read so that you can read slowly, you can pronounce, you can double check the meaning, you can double check the correct pronunciation with your partners, okay? So it is time to get different groups. I'm going to get other groups. Let's see. Okay, let me see how many groups we can have. Yes, probably we're going to have five groups of three or four people in each group. Maybe if there's a person that is just a listener, well, uh, make sure the, the rest of the group do the work. What are you going to do? You're going to read the article again, and then you're going to answer the questions. Is that clear? Yeah. yeah. That's great. Okay,
Yo pensaba que... Okay. Yes, we have to read uh, what she... She read... Uh, just give me a second, I'm open the book. Okay. Uh, read your article. Sorry, what? Uh, you read uh, the article. Yes, yes, we have to read it uh, for practice. And ah, oh, the teacher is here. <laughs> Hi, teacher. <Okay>. Hi. <laughs> yes, you read once, or you read one paragraph, and the other person reads the other one, or you can alternate and you can switch. You can do a lot of practice. Okay. Okay. So, Nelson, I don't know if you want to start. Okay. It is in page number 38. Okay. Uh, number, number one or the, the, the spirit is rumor about? Uh -huh. There and number one. <laughs> Okay. Chains. Except for Amazon, the top 10 US retailers are old school, brick and mortar retail store. According to the top 100 retailers list from Store Magazine, a National Retail Federation publication and rank, in ranking order. They are Walmart Store, Kruger, Co Company, Costco, The Home Depot, CBS, Walgreens, Amazon, Target, Lowe's, and Alberto. Alberto. Okay, number two. Stores are more profitable than e-commerce. Bricks generate higher conversation rates than clicks. A store purchase is more profitable than an e-commerce order. As factors like shipping and handle charges and the cost associated with increased returns eat into margins. Okay, uh, number three, online, online retailers are being eaten by legacy retailers. Now, Walmart is leading a pure play acquisition binge, buying board in the web retailers. That in e commerce, what is following factor? We have a following factor, following location, following factor. Que diga following factor. Aquí está, vean. Brick generation, high conversion rate that click a store purchase and e commerce order and factor like entonces es quiero ver cómo decía aquí el reducing shipping share uh -huh. ok aquí sabe vaya a store push purchase is more profitable than an e-commerce order as part of like Keeping and handling and handling handling charges. charges. Ah, okay. And the cost. Uh -huh. For me, Bustan, the Bustan de... Teacher said, identifies, identify the, the correct... Uh, the meaning of the words. Uh -huh, the meaning, the meaning. And maybe the more that you don't like, you don't know. If you have uh, a question, the teacher is right. Here, <laughs> teacher. Hey, teacher. Hey, tell welcome. me. Welcome. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Teacher, uh, in my case, uh, uh -huh. I, I have a question. Yes. What is the meaning brick and mortar? Brick is the brick and mortar of the, the, the conventional That's stores. Cool. Yes, the, the store that is in a building. Mm -hmm. Yes, for example, let's say 20 years ago, probably we didn't have Walmart in El Salvador. Yes? Yes. Until they came, 
they bought a space, a land, or they bought a building, and now they have a brick and mortar store. Not only online store. Brick and mortar is in physical. Exactly. Physical the building. physical, the building. Mm -hmm. And usually they are retail stores, right? Because they don't produce anything there. They just yeah. sell. Yeah, yes, everything yes. everything yes. comes yes. To, the, to the space, exactly. And the most famous one definitely are Walmart, CVS, Costco in the United States, right? Yes. Uh, uh, respect to... Uh, okay, no, just, just to have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the meaning of struggling, could, could you please... A struggling tell. is having problems. Having like having problems. difficulties, struggling. Oh, it's, it's like issues. Mm -hmm, having issues. Okay. So you think okay. the economy in El Salvador is really struggling because <laughs> <laughs> there are no, yeah, there are no, uh, yeah. yes, employments, the people are having very low salaries. Yes, yes. we're all struggling. The advantage to to this uh, situation is uh, a lot of uh, small uh, sellers, they, they take advantage of offering uh, their, their products. products. The, locally, the, locally, but yeah, that doesn't yeah, make yeah, them grow yeah, or have yeah. very yeah. profitable business. They only sell locally. momentaneously, but they don't yeah. really become big businesses. Yes, yeah, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. It is difficult to, to grow in this this in these uh, times. This time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. You know the big business, for example, Siman. Siman didn't start yesterday. Siman started many years ago. Many years. And still they have almost, they many, have almost one hundred years. Exactly. Almost. Exactly. And they still have problems because they offer you a lot of things and a lot of things, but the prices, I mean, people sometimes cannot afford for those yes. things, right? So they it's still, terrible. you know, have very few, few, very few stores actually. Yes? yes. As, as, as a result to read that article, uh, the retailer store brick and mortar doesn't disappear for many, 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 many years. Yes, definitely. They will continue existing. Maybe it's we true. were going to pass away and they were going to continue. <laughs> the, second, the second affirmative uh, is uh, number two. Stores are more profitable than e-commerce. Um, yeah, definitely. People enjoy going shopping. I mean, in e-commerce sometimes it's just one single product, depending on the offer of the discounts. But yes. now, yeah, definitely. They are a lot more profitable. So you're done yes. with the exercises. Yes, I, I prefer to, to fit the, the clothes that I one, in, the, in the way, yes. in the physical way, right? The old school, the old school. <laughs> the old school <yeah. laughs> exactly. I and and I it's, in my forties, I am old school. <laughs> no, but it's still, it's still. They they talk about the generation C that they prefer to go and try the things on, because yeah. it it happens that if you buy something online. You cannot like touch, perceive the texture of the textile, anything. So you don't know what it feels like. And after exactly. you have bought it, sometimes you don't have the opportunity to return it. And probably yes. you really need it. So you, you are not thinking about just buying and returning. I mean, you you don't have time to do that. Exactly. Teacher. You need to invest your time is smart. Mm -hmm. Yes. And nowadays, I, I, when I, I have a need to visit, uh, for example, uh, Metro Centro. A shopping mall. Uh, mm -hmm. I saw many, many people, what do you say, vitrineando. <laughs> Window <laughs> shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Younger uh, and, and adults. The, yes, and adults. Mm -hmm. but if uh, I consider, I think, if the e-commerce was uh, uh, more important, uh, these people wouldn't uh, be here. Brick and, mm -hmm. 
Ah, yes, the people don't visit this these places no but they prefer to see there's something really special in going to the stores some people consider it's a therapy, you know? therapy. <laughs> exactly therapy. when they feel I, stressed I know, when they I know, get I bored I don't mm -hmm. like to, to be, to, be to in any, in any window shopping, <laughs> window shopping. No, yes a lot of people do it but with, yes. with the pandemic teacher we we had to learn to that was a necessity yeah. exactly yeah. but even even if it was a necessity i don't know if you remember there was a possibility for example to buy your groceries online and it happened to me my god the website was collapsed i was ordering sometimes i spent like two or three hours trying to shop for some groceries for my parents to be delivered to their house and finally i could do it after three or four hours and when you went to the to the supermarket in physical there was a huge line outside <laughs> because people needed the product immediately and when you shop online they sometimes take like two or three days to deliver the products <laughs> and people were dying <laughs> it was really difficult That's a fool. <laughs> but i i i know that i was wasting my time paying in the bank for example mm -hmm. right now i pay online yes there the... are some things that have benefits definitely yes yes it's yes. a advantage yeah definitely all right give me a second i excuse myself i go to another group teacher uh, no. with the the follow question you finish uh, no no Okay, continue okay. working. No problem. Okay. Which is Ah, me se me dio. Todo tranquilo con lo de las lluvias en su casa. ¿Cómo? Bueno, porque como... Oh, sorry, English. Este... We have to ¿Tiene? answer the question she said. Ay, no puedo ver. Uh, the WhatsApp group. Um, the number one said, what is the only retailer that is not physical change of retailer stores? I think that was Amazon. Teacher, we finish. All right. No problems? No, teacher. Okay, great. Sí, casi todos cerraron. Pero ay, nosotros como queremos banco, porque los bancos sí cerraron como a las tres. Las cooperativas y los bancos. Así que igual nosotros, sí, ay, más tarde. Ay, se va a ir la luz. Sí, me salgo porque fue la luz.
Okay. Welcome back. Okay, first, we're going to listen to Claudia read from number one. Despite all the rumors about e-commerce putting brick and mortar out of the business, is the only is the online only merchants that are struggling. So, number one, could you please, okay. Claudia, read? All but one of the of the top ten U.S. retailers are physical chains. Except for Amazon, the top 10 U.S. retailers are old school, brick and mortar retail stores. According to the top 100 retailer list from Store Magazine and National Retail Federation Publication. In ranking order, they are Walmart Store, Group, Hall, Costco, The Home Depot, CBS, Wildwings, Amazon.com, Target, Louis and Albertson. Interesting. So actually they gave you the 10 top ranking, right? And all of them are brick and mortar businesses, brick and mortar retails. So they are not online except for Amazon, right? <laughs> Second one, let's listen to Tatiana. Yes, and number two, stores are more profitable than e-commerce. Bricks generate higher conve conversion rates than clicks. A store purchase is more profitable than an e-commerce order. As factors like shipping and handling charge and the cost associated uh, with increase returns it into margins. That's right. Number three, online retailers are being eaten by legacy retailers. Jorge. Uh, number three, online retailers are being eaten by legacy retailers. Now Walmart is leading a pure play acquisition pinch, buying boring the web retailers. Brick merchants are buying click merchant because online only is not a viable retail model. All right, thank you. And millennials and generations, you prefer real life stores, Diana. Sorry. <laughs> okay, millennials and generation C came of age amid the rise of Amazon, Facebook, and Instagram. But while many of these younger consumers are opting to spend their free time online rather than watching television, for one, both groups actually prefer in store to digital shopping. Okay. Did you expect that this article talk about this reality? What was your expectations about this article? It was what you expected, it was the opposite, it was similar. Uh -huh. Sorry, could you please repeat the question? Okay, when you saw the article on the manual, you say, ah, this article probably is going to talk about why e-commerce it's getting better or it's improving or it's gaining against the old school brick and mortar retailers or you think it was what you found or it was the opposite or it was similar. So is this information surprising or you already had a, a similar idea? Definitely was opposite that I was thinking about the e-commerce. Uh -huh. I was thinking the e-commerce is increased and the retailers could Are be disappearing. <laughs> yeah. But it's not necessary. Not necessarily, right? It's not exactly like that. It's the opposite. So definitely the article is proving that the physical businesses, the physical retailers, the brick and mortar retailers are going to be here for a long teacher, time. Yes. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, in my case, uh, 
uh, I consider uh, retail stores uh, have been take advantage with e-commerce for their company. They have created their own pages. <laughs> pages and, and own uh, uh, apps. apps. Exactly. Yes. They have created their own e-commerce, right? Yes. <laughs> so now they are selling double, not only in the physical spaces, yes. but also online. It's true. That's another thing. Yeah, that nobody has mentioned has before. The, this company, but in in the in positive. Positively, yes. <laughs> they have taken advantage. That's true. Yeah, I don't know if you have heard this. Uh, I think they still have this possibility that you order your products online, and they have the products in a corner in the parking space and you can just go and they put the products on your car and then yes. you just leave. pick up pick up something i guess is the name of this of this uh part of the business and, and pick and go a pick and go exactly and, go. and it's available in walmart and la despensa so and in price mark too, in price mark uh, too. Simon, also simon really yes. yes oh my god i didn't know that you can buy online and you 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 you, you can just, pick up your products at the store you just go to the store yes mm, interesting <laughs> yeah yeah i knew about simon that you can go and pick up the product at the store but in this supermarket they can even wait for you you don't even have to get out of your car they just put it on your car and then you just leave and they have a restricted area for you to go and pick up the, the products. That's really interesting. I think that is one of the good things that pandemic left. <laughs> At least, yeah. Somehow motivated people to start improving these things, right? All right, great. What about the exercise? It says, what is the only retailer that is not a physical change of retail stores? That was very obvious, right? Amazon. <laughs> Amazon is the only one, right? The other ones, yes, you can find this, the, the stores, the physical stores. Yes, okay. What of the following factors make a store's purchases more preferable than e-commerce? Reducing shipping, reducing shipping charges. Exactly. They reduce the shipping charges because, for example, if you order something from Amazon, from eBay, they charge you a high price to deliver those products because so they are not. They, the taxes. The, plus the taxes, exactly, yes. because you are kind of importing things, <laughs> right? So since they are not located, right, in, in, in our countries. So how is Walmart taking advantage of only online retail models? Letter A, buying online retail stores. Yeah, they are buying online retail stores. They are even increasing and improving their own businesses right the, the meaning of a board in the web is like sound like it sound all right <laughs> all right yes i bet that's the same all right and who prefers to purchase in retail stores click merchants brick merchants millennials. And millennials and generation z and gen z Yes, now unbelievable that these generations are spending most of their times on their devices, on online videos, or social media, on these platforms, okay? What? When it comes to acquiring goods, when it comes to shopping for something, they prefer the conventional stores, right? <laughs> okay, the brick and mortar stores. All right, interesting. All right, here you have another exercise that says find the words on the page 38. 
check the correct meaning. So you have here the concept and then you have two options. Of course, this is something you're going to discuss with your partners because this makes it more interactive. One of them is the correct one. So let's move to our breakout rooms and discuss the right answers. Hola. Ay, Wendy. Business in a building is the number one. A business be online, the person be. Among the main process, they got different people in the same place. It is the first one. Um, it's a physical presence of a business in a building. Number one. Yes. Okay. match the the definition with the with the word for example margins we have to find what is the definition of that of, of that word the buzz of terms okay uh, okay for the first one we have brick and mortar retail stores uh, for the first one option the physical presence of a business in a building and the second a business with only digital presence Okay. more retail stores. I think it's uh, the first one, the physical presence of a business in a building. I find millennials. <laughs> Very easy. Mm -hmm. The generation of people born between the early and the business entrepreneur. The business entrepreneur. Big merchant. Okay. Business Hello? entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Business entrepreneurs for the millennial for the millennials. Yes, uh, for the first box. It says the generation of people born between the early and the 1980s and 1990s in business entrepreneurs. Click uh, merchant. Said that sound really new. Click merch. Yes, and also 
it be brick merchants, the opposite, brick. Brick, brick and mortar. Yes, mortar. but when brick, brick merchants, and this is, brick merchants are buying click merchants. Uh -huh. yes. yes, but brick and mortar, mortar sound like someone dead. Mortal. <laughs> mortal or mortal. <laughs> yes, that, that, that sound. Uh, weird. <laughs> weird. Yes. Uh, we immortal and click. Click mercant. It's about it. It's new. That sounds new for me. Yes, also. Do you do you think all this kind of of uh, how do you say study about English about the the e-commerce and that kind of topic are the so or made more interesting the learn English? Yes, I can see that. Like, you know, is for change. All right, no problems? No, miss. Was easy? We think yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we're going to compare, don't worry. Okay. Tenemos media hora. Yes. Yes. Hi, teacher. We only have to work in the first exercise, right? Yes. No problem. Don't worry. We're going to compare and then we come back so that we can complete the following. Okay. All right. We, we finished already, teacher. <laughs> All right. We all finish? Yes? Yes, yes teacher. All yes. right. Perfect. Let's see. Hmm. We're going to have a text case like. Mm -hmm. Probably. Okay. Brick and mortar retail stores. Which of the two definitions is the right one? The first one. The, the physical, physical presence. presence of a business in a building. All right. Margins. Cost difference of acquiring products and the selling price. Okay, cost differences of acquiring products and the selling prices. All right. So it would be here. Millennials. <laughs> the generation of people. For Imagine. So I thought millennials were more recent, but millennials are kind of yeah, old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have that view. I have that view. With this, uh, this year, because <laughs> millennials, I consider teacher uh, younger. Uh, 20, we are young. <laughs> but millennials, I even fit the category of millennials, imagine. <laughs> this is our <awesome. laughs> too. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> All right. So, the generation of people born between. Okay, after the millennials, what do we have? 
the generation C and yes, yes, and um, the crystal, the crystal generation. <laughs> yes. Imagine <laughs> how breakable you have no idea. Maybe if you have relatives who are teenagers right now, you have no idea how breakable, how uh, fragile they are. You tell them something and they are depressed. Yes. I mean, you, and you were not even talking about them. You were saying something random. And to finish a task, they take the whole day and they haven't finished. I'm like, what the hell? Oh my God, yeah, that's a really interesting generation. You have to learn, I mean, you, you have to see it. All right, and the click merchant? A merchant that exclusively offer digital products and services. Yes, exclusively offers digital, right? So. <clears throat> Yes, because the other one says a merchant who receives and process mail online orders. No, it's only digital, right? Through apps, through the website, it's only online. All right, great. Well, yeah, definitely it was very easy and very obvious. <laughs> so you didn't have to think too much. All right, let's go to the next one. What about this exercise? Take a look. I bet you already saw it on your on your manual. So what you have to do is to check first for you. Let me see. I usually get this a spotlight. Okay, first thing you have to check on your case, your own answers, right? It says, what has been your experience with e-commerce so far? Yes, we've been talking about this since yesterday and, and I bet since before. So answer the questions below, then interview at least two more classmates. And then you're gonna brainstorm predictions about the future of e-commerce in your country. Okay, <clears throat> as I said before, e-commerce is not part of our future. It's part of our present, but it might have some changes for the future. There might be some improvements, some updates, okay, and that's normal. Mainly in technology, you know that, I, I mean, that is very, very possible, right? So that is part of it, okay? So the first thing is that you're going to check, okay, if you have done any of this, and then you're going to interview two more partners and then you're going to make or you can discuss you can even discuss the predictions about the improvement the updates or the changes that might come in a near future probably you don't have to think about 2050 you have to think about probably in 2025 like in two or three years okay how things are going to be improved and not only depending on the pandemic just as a normal pace of our life all right, so let's go ahead and we're gonna make new groups so that you can discuss with some other people. Let's change the groups and that you have the possibility to interview at least two partners. All right, here we go. Hi. Okay.
Sorry. Good evening. Good evening. Ay, estoy afónica. Ah, sorry. <ríe> ok, eh, veo que ya comenzó a responder. Yes. Yes. Eh, ok. Eh, ¿Dónde está la...? la... No. Just, just the teacher is here. To... Yes, I, I mean... <laughs> the group is yeah, only, two. only two people, teacher. Two participants. Uh, I see a finger up. Means okay. um, it means yeah. it's okay. No, it's okay. I'm gonna send somebody else. The thing is that I sent four or yeah, four or five people, but the others didn't join. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Don't worry. <laughs> but we can start with it. Do you do you understand the the exercise? Um. I understood that we need to discuss about the this paragraph and no. no. Sorry, los suyos son Yes a todo. Yes a todo. Ah miraba la, 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 el signo más en vez de la X por me quedaba. Ah, es que los otros lo hice cruzado. Ajá, yo me Ay. quedé. Y yes, así, yeah. Ok. Uh, stores web and later decide to buy an item from de... their physical store. Lo, lo pasaron a, al WhatsApp, no. Yes, it's in the chat, chat group. Ah, vamos a ver. Porque me. Ah, sé que está. Uh -huh. El último. Pero que, el, que no es el que ya mandaron. Que ya hicieron. Ah, no, el último. Sí. No, have you ever. Yeah, yeah. El have you ever. Ajá. Ah. Es que de, de una pareja y, 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 y. O sea, el mío y el suyo y así vea. Uh -huh. Entonces, ese sería. Have you ever visited a store website in letter the site? Buy item for their physical store. Dice, ¿qué significa? Que a ver, tiene, eh, tiene su visita, algo así va, como que se ha visitado a website. That exercise. Um, it consists in, in... In response, the in answer the question from number one to number five um, in the manual, page thirty nine. Okay. I'm watching the question, uh, but you have to to answer that question. Have you ever visited a storage website and later, and later decided to buy an, an item from the physical store? Mm, yes, definitely. For example, in Siman, I see in, in the products in, online, uh, but I prefer go to the, to the brick and mortar and buy something. I just just for compare. Ah, yes. Sí, con, con sal las he hecho. Ah, es mejor con bicarbonato. Uh -huh. Por eso no me duele, solamente es la, la voz. Sí, se le había lastimado.
Okay. Pero fue porque hablé bastante hoy en la mañana, porque regresé al trabajo hoy. Ah, y quizás está con aire acondicionado. Ajá, eso. Ok. Y okay, el otro dice que recibe no, marketing email invitando invitándote a visitar las ah sí en, pero se recibe más que todo en las aplicaciones verdad en Facebook y en Instagram al menos en mi caso en Instagram y en Facebook ¿Sí? In my case, yes, I saw the I saw the advertising by the social media, but once I buy a coupon club, so after that, in my email, I receive every kind of of mm -hmm. our, uh, promotions, and in my case, in promotion of travel. I ah, for travel. I, I work in travel agency. You you were at there. I, what? You were at a travel agency. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes, I work and I I use my my email, email. and mm -hmm. in, in my email uh, send offers. <laughs> Offers to the to the people for, for clients <laughs> for other clients okay it's okay oh, customers okay. Uh, in your case uh, the uh, what products in in email uh, I receive by coupon club because once I buy I bought a coupon club coupon, coupon. coupon club Coupon club. Coupon mm -hmm. club. Yes. Uh, for what products? Once I bought for my hair, it was very cheap because I want to. It, it was cheap. Uh, it was for my hair, so I decided to buy it. It cost fifteen dollars. Para tu cosas para tu pelo, como no te entiendo. Eh, quiero ver sí, o sea, era un cupón para pintarme el pelo era ¿qué, qué aprendí? Yes, sí, no, un poco difícil sometimes I, I don't understand the, the, when the teacher is speaking sorry sorry, no I don't understand the, the... Uh, speak? Speak English? No. Uh, real? Más o menos. Ah, so, so. Yes. Okay. Solo los tres. Ah, hay otro compañero más. Ah, no, la teacher. No, okay. Did you finish? Finish. Yes, teacher. No problems. No questions. No? No. Easy. Yes, teacher. Easy peasy. All right. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Great. All the... I go to the yeah. bathroom. Ow.
finished. Finish, finish. Hello. Hello. Finish. Yes. Almost. No. <laughs> no, if you finish the exercise. <laughs> No, no, you didn't. No, oh my we God. are talking about, we are talking a lot, me. That's great. It was a good interaction. It's all right. Don't worry too much. Okay, let's see. Huh. Maybe we're going to get a star in the stand for the color. Hold on. Uh, if you listen to a crazy neighbor scolding her, her teenage song, okay, it's not me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. We're going to have the example from Chris. Yeah, have you ever visited a store's website and later decided to buy an item from their physical store? Yes, yes, on my Yay. Facebook appears a lot of publicity of Opsiman. <laughs> and because I I really like uh, the lipsticks of Makeup. Maybelline, <laughs> yes, but but I prefer the the I I don't know the waterproof lipstick. Mm. So the Maybelline is appears in my Facebook every single day, and and also in my Instagram, and and I and if I see one color that. Uh, I like, I go and get to, it. <laughs> yes, I go to the Siman and, and I buy. That's very attentive because, you know, just before the pandemic and before we started wearing the mask, I used to have this kind of lipstick. And then I stopped wearing them because I said no purpose because we were wearing masks. But now I've been thinking about going again and getting one myself but i think i'm gonna yes. resist the temptation until next week because i most likely get one for free because i i think i have an invitation for this coming it's a friend of mine that usually whenever we see each other she's like oh it's been such a long time so now I, i'm here here i brought this for you so i'm expecting her to give me something like that so i'm not gonna buy it I'm gonna resist. <laughs> and besides, they are fixing the, the the street in front of the shopping mall near my work. So I'm not going. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to somebody else. Sylvia. Have you ever received marketing emails inviting you to visit a store and get promotions and discounts? Have you accepted the invitation? Um, in my case, I don't receive um any any invitation. Really? So you haven't given your address to any of these stores so that they can give you and show you the offers. <laughs> That's sad because usually for the month of your birthday, they usually have discounts. <laughs> Maybe pagapoco.com send emails for everybody. True. Yeah, most of the stores, most of the stores now and all these websites uh, that retail product as well, right? Mm -hmm. Siman too and the banks send the a, lot of, yeah. a lot of message to get long. I usually get from Prisma, Siman, I guess these are stores that I have given my email address. <laughs> so they usually send me this type of uh, advertisements and, and promotions mm. and these Also the hotels. Hotels, the hotels. yes. yes. If you, yeah, if you have but right now there are they all that places are connected by if you look for something in facebook mm -hmm. rapidly 
<laughs> they have a, they have the same database and then all the all, yeah all of the businesses know your email address already yeah yes. so because of the people that have done it yeah we're gonna get the stars okay and wendy have you shared a facebook post about a special discount or offer with your friends maybe not on facebook but on whatsapp <laughs> in my <laughs> in my case in my case yes you get uh, the screenshot okay, and okay. send it to your family and say look this discount you have to get it <laughs> yes um the cosmetic um uh, flowers or oh, arreglo floral no sé cómo yeah what, what do you say uh, flowers flower, flower arrangements or uh, okay. perfumes perfumes uh, clothes mm -hmm. Or sometimes when you see the discounts of some products at the at the supermarket website, you get the screenshot and you say, and you send it to a, to a a friend or a or a person in your family that you know is gonna go grocery shopping. And you say, look, this is on discount. You can get it: cereal, oil, yeah. coffee, milk. Yes, I remember mm -hmm. like two no probably about four years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I used to have my, my nieces and nephews, little, so I used to get, like, milk on this gown. No, that, Tatiana shared, but uh, I say, uh, say me, mm -hmm. um, share a food or your right. friends. Yes, when she finds this okay. gown, so okay. Oh, her friends, <laughs> sorry. Nice. Also at work. Yes, I have a friend at work that is always sharing the screenshot of discounts on combos or food or the second combo half price. And, and she said, well, when I eat from the cafeteria, why don't we just order food from online <laughs> websites? Yes. Other, other, other people say, uh -huh. uh, I still order other things and in it. You know, are the things of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Somebody, have you ordered food from a restaurant website application? Everybody. Aquí no me digan que no. Everybody has done this. When you don't want to cook on Sunday, you order pizza, chicken, hamburgers, Chinese food. Uh huh. Have you rated, rated, haha, uh -huh. estas son las stars. Have you rated a business restaurant service in a social network? When you go to a restaurant and then they say, okay, how many stars do you give to this service? Or the restaurant service? Do you do it? No, teacher, I, I, Maybe I forgot or I never. Yeah, people usually yeah. ignore, right? People usually say, no, I don't want After, to. I don't yeah. want that they send me notifications about rating their products or their services. After, yes, sure. and after you order the food, you <laughs> only. <laughs> Teacher, some, sometimes I do it because in restaurants like Pollo Campero and Burger King, they give you food free if you, or they you give you a it. dessert or a coffee true mm -hmm. yes so few people do it when they see the benefits <laughs> mm -hmm. okay so you interview your partners about this yes you did great all right Give me a second. Teníamos que borrar aquí las, las notitas. I'm sorry. Si no me lo deja manchar. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Va, ese es como el de las, 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 las. Yo sé que ya es almost time, pero solo le vamos a echar un glance. Un glance es una ojeada. Cómo usar las transitions o traditions. Me suena como algo repetitive, ¿verdad? Transitions of additions. Esas son palabras que nos sirven para 
agregar otra idea, por eso se llaman transition, como hacer la transición, pero a la vez agregar una idea más a lo que estamos diciendo en inglés. Of course. Ok, pongámoslas en práctica. How to use transitions of addition. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Transitions of addition indicate that the writer is using a second idea or deepen or clarify the first one. O sea, estas palabras, in addition, besides, furthermore, moreover, lo que están diciendo es como, además, también, o sea, solo como son formas más fancy de agregar, de adicionar otra idea a lo que ya estamos explicando. Por ejemplo, there are disadvantages to e-commerce like limited customer service. In addition, Customers have to wait for their products to arrive after ordering. Si se fijan, acá estaba expresando una idea, pero quería agregar otra idea similar. Entonces, ya no solo vamos a usar and, 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 porque siempre decimos y, 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 sino que podemos decir, además, a esto le agregamos también, ¿sí?, entonces, para eso nos sirven estas transitions of addition. Bye. Decía que hay algunas desventajas. There are disadvantages to e-commerce, como limited customer service. A veces tienen el customer service muy limitado. In addition, in addition, ok, in addition, ¿cómo lo traducirían? Adicionalmente, uh -huh. customers have to wait for their products to arrive after ordering. Ok, adicionalmente, los clientes tienen que esperar que los productos lleguen. O sea, no es que ahorita lo compré y ahorita mágicamente aparece el producto en mi casa, no. You have to wait for one, two or three days, sometimes a week, right? A store retails generate more money than e-shop. Besides, a small online companies are bought by big companies, ok, además, besides, es como además, the store retails generate more money, o sea, las tiendas que son de retails generan mucho más dinero que las e-shops, además, small online companies, estos uh, sitios de online, Pequeños también son comprados por otras compañías. So, notice how punctuation associates with transitions vary. O sea, ¿cómo la puntuación puede variar? E-commerce is reliable from... Sorry, e-commerce is a reliable form of electronic transaction. Antes de poner... La transition word, tenemos que poner un punto y coma. Esto en inglés se llama semicolon. Y luego de la transition word le ponemos... ¿Qué le ponemos? Coma. O sea, cuando termino la primera idea... Antes de poner la transition word, pongo semicolon. Y luego, después de la transition word, pongo coma. coma. So, e-commerce is a reliable form of electronic transaction. O sea, el e-commerce es una forma muy confiable de las transacciones electrónicas. Furthermore, además, también, it allows users to purchase online. Le permite a los usuarios comprar online. Igual. Esta misma acá. E-commerce is convenient. Puedo poner un punto e iniciar con mayúscula, no solamente punto y coma, sino que period. E-commerce is convenient. El comercio online es conveniente, period. Moreover, coma, además, it allows retailers to offer more products than the ones in the store. Yes, permite a los retailers ofrecer muchos más productos que los que están en la store. Ok, esto es como ya dar dos ideas unidas por un 
transition word. ¿Ok? Eso es algo que podemos obviamente poner en práctica en estas oraciones, pero because of the time, lo harán para el próximo módulo. <risa> Se lo vamos a dejar de homework y el otro teacher le va a preguntar: ¿Hicieron el ejercicio que me planteé? Le digo, yeah, no. Pero solo vamos a tomar la tendencia one last time porque ay, sometimes I forget. Aquí estamos. Veamos. Ana Raquel. Hi, teacher. Hi, Carlos. Present. Claudia. Diana. Here, teacher. Jorge. Present, teacher. All right. Jose Jonathan. De Rodrigo. Present teacher. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. <coughs> María Concepción. Present. María Elena. Mario Ernesto. Present Nelson. teacher. Nelson. Norma. Present teacher. Olga. Silvia. Present teacher. Wendy. Wendy. Present teacher. Present teacher. Tatiana teacher. Oh, present. I didn't say Tatiana. Wendy. I'm sorry. Wendy <laughs> All right. Sylvia, Tatiana, Wendy. Yes. Todavía le había puesto la tele. And Christian. Yeah, Christian. I said Christian. And I, I saw you. Really yeah. When you have the camera, I can see you on the shopping mall and I will recognize you. <laughs> but if, let's say, some people I don't recognize, maybe because I never saw you on camera. All right, a pleasure for me to be here with you. It's been two classes only. Okay, ya me dan la documentación for the next intermediate? Yes. Yes, awesome. Yes. Okay. Thank you so very much for attending tonight's class. I hope you have a good one. And it was a pleasure to meet you. Keep studying, keep practicing. Don't stop, keep moving. Keep pushing hard, forward, and you'll get it. Okay, thank you, teacher. Nice to meet thank you. Thank you. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. Nice to meet you, everybody. Bye. Nice to meet you, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.